season, we're probably not getting as much in practice. But you have one game to prepare for it, and, and then it kind of just gets thrown at you uh, in the biggest game of the year. What, what is that? How do you even prepare for that? You know, it's it's really about preparation and getting your your body and your mind right. You know, uh, obviously it's going to be a physical and you know, a fight kind of kind of plays and, and with those with a lot of linemen in there, but. You know, it's getting your body, mind, and soul right and getting ready to go and, you know, sacrifice all you got. Cody, you went through senior day on Saturday. Have you made a decision on what you're doing after a season yet? No, I didn't. I just – I felt like it was four years and, you know, I, I wanted to run on senior day and uh, I felt like it was the right decision. And obviously being a fourth-year guy, I mean, you're still chasing your first win in this rivalry. Just how much extra hunger does that give you, you know, going into this, but you're still looking for your first one? Yeah, it's everything. We, we need to try new things and, uh, you know, Find ways to give more effort, give more uh, preparation. You know, be be a better teammate. Do something to, to get yourself over that hump, and it's it's tough and it's not not an easy feeling to, to have. But uh, that's what we're working on every day right now. What gives you confidence that this defense is more prepared for this game than it was a year ago? You know, I I, I trust in my coaches. We and we we watch a lot of film. We watch a lot of a lot of little details that can help us get an edge. And you know, I trust that in their in their vision and their. Uh, their mentalities that we can get it done. Cody, Cody what's it been like uh, watching this summer? You got you, you had a workout with Mickey, and, and you were screaming at the guys, "This is not good enough." And we got Michigan at the end of the year, and you know, so yeah, of course. But you know, you were even in whatever that was, June or July, talking about this game. Now that it's here, how ready are you guys? Man, everything we've done this entire year has been right. Been, has been for this game, and so you know. We couldn't be more ready for it, and our, our coaches have done a great job of, of allowing us to you know, kind of like slowly build to that to this moment. But uh, you know, it's it's the reason you come here. You know, it's there's nothing else really to it other than to win this game. And getting Tommy back, uh, assuming he does, uh, how, how big is that going to be? You know, he's such a he's a, such a big leader, whether he's on the field or off off the field. So um, we're just so thankful that we can uh, have a, have a, a leader like that on our team and. Get ready for this game. What has he been like not getting to play the last couple of weeks? What has he been like to be around? Oh, it's Tommy. the same, same Tommy. Uh, he's he's always ready to get in, even if he they don't let him. So, uh, you know, I, I just appreciate that. I think that's the kind of person he is, and, and it rubs off on the rest of the linebacker unit and the defense as a whole. Yeah, you think it was you, hard for him? Uh, did you notice? Uh, go ahead. Did, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did you think it was hard for him to like have to sit? sit oh yeah. Was, like day? Yeah, I mean he he. Uh, I mean, we know how he thinks, and he could he would probably do anything to play in that game. And uh, but I think he understood the the bigger the bigger moment. And uh, we're just we're so thankful to have a, someone like that with that mentality on our team because he if if he if it was if it was up to him he would play no matter what. How much did that game last year, uh, the second half especially? Uh, how much did it impact Coach Knowles from your vantage point? What did you see? You know what I mean? How, yeah. how it affected him? You know. He, it's it's tough as as his first year last year with us and he's just getting to know really the rivalry and being being a part of it and um, you know I think you know as as it's gone on and as as he's been here for for a lot longer that he's uh, he's understanding how how much every little detail matters and and uh, it, not saying he wasn't before yeah. but he was now it's it's so much more magnified of how much more focus and how much more every little detail matters more. Do, do you feel I mean like knocking last year? But do you feel good at this point about the plan y'all have for Saturday? You understand what I'm saying? That it took it maybe took into account what went wrong last year. Yeah, and and we're we're still putting stuff in right now. We're no, yeah. nothing set in stone until the yeah. foot hits the ball. But uh, we're uh, yeah, 100. We 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 know what we need to do, and um, I full trust in my coaches that to put together something that will be right for our team, and and uh, we'll just see how how it. Uh, how it progresses this week and, and get ready for Saturday. Cody, everybody talks about how this is a 365-day year rivalry. You guys are constantly talking about, thinking about, working toward this game. Literally, how much film do you watch on Michigan before this week when you're actually prepping for this game, this team? So during the season is a little a little different because you're you're preparing for your, the your opponent, but you know in the off season we'll we'll have periods where we'll watch we'll watch their just getting ready for what they what they do, and we watched a, lot, a little bit of last year. Um, you know, before this week, I wouldn't say it's too much because we're just trying to get ready. But our, our coaches have definitely um, always had a, had an eye on them, and and now this week, it's especially with our Thanksgiving, we have so much more time to be able to do stuff without school. So um, uh, it's I've already started with 
just as getting as much film as I can in early front load in the week so that at the end of the week I can really focus on the little stuff and um, it certainly helps with no school. So you've, how many times have you you've played in those five big plays that they had last year? I mean, I'm probably know them by heart. I mean, is it sick of you? What do you, what do you think when you see those plays? Yeah, I, I, I just think we, uh, those are areas we can do better. And I'm, we've all probably seen those plays a million times now. So, you know, it, it hurts when you watch it. But, um, you know, it's it's all about the little details. All those, all those big plays happen because – a small little detail that it's really all fundamentals. So we have to get back to making sure we are fundamentally sound at, at every every position. You've played across from all season. How have you seen the offensive line grow in terms of physicality, in terms of chemistry, to face the challenge they're going to get on Saturday? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, we see it all in time in practice. We, we go against them all the time, and um, I think those are our, our best reps where we can go against our offense and, and all the little well, big uh, movements and and confusion that they cause for all the defenses across the Big Ten, but uh, we're um, I, I supreme confidence in, in them, and they they work so hard with Coach Fry and everything. So I'm I'm excited to see what they can do. You, you mentioned about Michigan's tight ends. You, guys, you might have to defend Michigan's tight ends with play yeah. action and stuff like that. Uh, what stands out about those guys? No, they're they're good athletes. They uh they, they work well in space, and you know our our uh, our focus is to is to limit their impact as much as possible and as much as everybody else in their offense. So, um, you know, they, they're good players, and we want to be able to, to limit any, anything they can do that, that can hurt us. The linebackers, what did you guys learn from, from facing the Notre Dame tight ends that, that maybe you can carry into to what you guys are going to see on Saturday? Yeah, you, you got to be physical, and you got you to be able to dictate what, what you want to do and um, have an answer for everything that they're trying to confuse you with. And, um, yeah, especially from that game, though, to, to just be as physical as possible. How would you describe what J.J. McCarthy brings to the party, brings to the to that offense, uh, if you were explaining him to somebody else? Yeah, no, he's really creative, and he can he can make something out of nothing. So, you know, our our, our goal is to just contain him as much as possible and uh, and not not allow him to make as crazy plays as he as he makes. He's a good player, so um, we just have to do our best and and, uh, and, uh, and contain him. Hey, they, they looked offensively like they looked this time a year ago coming into this game. I mean, the last couple of games have been interesting to watch them offensively. Obviously, they ran the ball 32 times, never threw it in the second half against Penn State. <laughs> what, yeah. does that, what, does that, what does that just tell you about where they are offensively coming into this one? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't really, we're not really focusing too much on what they did last year, but. Um, I mean, you know, the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, last couple yeah. of weeks. I mean, we just know it's always, it's always the. Um, going to come down to the, the rushing attack and, and being as physical as possible at the point of attack. And, you know, they, they, they set a standard to, to run the ball, and so it's going to be up to us to be able to, to stand up to that and, and to defend the run as, as well as possible. Has the way they run their offense the last two weeks without having their head coach on the sideline look different at all? Does it look like the same stuff? How does it kind of compare when he's there versus not there when you watch football? Well, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a, an interesting situation for them, and, uh, you know, I haven't really got into talking about any of that uh, – What's going on? But you know, I, I think they run the ball. They they try to run the ball the same way and and try to be physically imposing. And so they're they're good up front. So it really doesn't make a difference what they. I, I think what their coaches is just um, finding the right plays to, to defend each each run and and just being physical. Could you talk about winning games on defense? You know, how do you balance being aggressive but not overly aggressive against teams like this? Yeah, and no, that comes down to to probably Coach Knowles. He's he's all knowing with his. Uh, with his with his defenses, but uh, you know, it, there there are definitely ebbs and flows of, of the game, and and uh, not getting out of control with your with what we play, and and I think Coach Knowles is a great handle, and I, I trust him completely on what he what he decides to do with the defense. But even like defending the run, you know, contain versus trying to make a TFL, like how do you balance that in game? Oh yeah, it's really I mean gap integrity is huge. Um, just being able to stay in your stay in your gap and and. And not allowing any any big holes, and their running backs are good. They they hit holes hard, and they they uh, they are patient in time. So I think for us just to be as, as gap integrity and gap sound as possible. You said you you feel like you guys are as prepared as you can be for this game. Can you relate it at all to last year, like where you guys were mentally and emotionally a year ago coming into this game to where you were now? Is there anything that feels different? Do you feel I don't know same kind of thing? Yeah, I mean we we want to kind of focus on it as this year as as itself you know our every year is different and so for us it's it's really just how we prepare throughout this entire year including the offseason and everything so 
you know, our emotions are are definitely high, and we want to, um, you know, we want to like we want to create that that uh, emotion and that and that intensity in that game, and it all starts this week. You know, that it's Tuesday. You can't win the game today, but. You know, we our focus is building that slow, that slow, uh, that slow build to the to the game, and, and not allowing our emotions to get out of us. Yeah, I asked Coach Day about this while ago. I mean, kind of a weird question, but uh, is there a freedom that comes with playing in a game where the only thing that matters is the win? If you follow my drift there, Cody, about yeah. you know letting it all hang, you know whatever it is, whatever you know euphemism, cliche you want to use. I mean, that that all that matters on Saturday is whether you won. A hundred percent. I mean, but I, and that's the thing about uh, being at a place like Ohio State. You know, it's kind of expected that you win by a lot of a lot of points. But that's been our goal every every week this year is just to win. Like it's it doesn't matter really what it looks like. We just have to win. And so, you know, that I, I kind of find comfort in that because, you know, we're not trying to do anything extraordinary. We're just trying to do our job and what we've been doing all year. Cody, there, the information is as readily available now as it's ever been. Social media is, you know, omnipresent. How hard is it to tune out all of the other stuff that's going on with this rivalry game? It's, it's definitely not easy, even. Um, but we, I, I think it's, you know, especially the, the age of the players on our teams now. We're we're all good with our phones and everything. But you know, I when when it comes to me, I just try to, you know, if I see something, I scroll past it or just don't even focus on it because I know what what really matters is what we talk about here in like in the Woody and. And whatever anything else I see out there just doesn't mean much to me. So I I, I know what the truth is here, and um, I'm just getting ready for the game. Thanks, 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 Thanks,